A pump would be nice, but remember, there's no financial advice. Crypto Badgers. Thanks for joining the Crypto Badgers to Degens that like to do our research. I'm Max Power, joined as always by Matt, aka by Z Dips. A very warm welcome to all of our subs once again. We are back here talking about launch pads again and talking about possibly our favorite one in particular, and that is Ox Bull. The last bull market that we did a video on this one, and it's just the greatest under the radar launch pad <laughs> that is out there. Nobody else talks about it. But this I thing know. Just works like butter. That's <laughs> honest as the day is long when it comes to by crypto standards, and um, it's just a fun little community to be in. So why not do a video? Yeah, yes. uh, look, you, yeah. Look, I mean, you said possibly our favourite launchpad. Uh, it is our favourite launchpad. Let's be honest. I, I find it quite incredible that this one doesn't get uh, more airtime. Uh, a lot of people talk about, you know, your Cedifies and and polka starters, et cetera, et cetera. But for me, um, Oxball's where it's at. Yeah. Um, I mean, the allocations in their projects are terrific. Uh, it's quite a relatively affordable for a for a, for a tier one slot, and uh, yeah, the team's exceptional. Yeah, um, it was, and it's been having a nice run in price, but still much much cheaper when it comes to. Uh, comparing to some of those other other launchpad projects that you mentioned, and I think that is one of the things that I want to focus on in this video today. And we'll actually show you how the, how simple the contributions are because there's a project open at the moment, um, and we'll we'll do that in a moment. But let's just let's just put some things into context here, Matt, because we love context. Uh, <laughs> and look, this market cap five point eight million, right? To get a guaranteed tier one allocation at the moment, you need and you got to buy a few extra for the sell tax. It's seven thousand, not seven seven thousand three hundred to get a tier one. You can get tier twos as well for a bit less, but I'd really recommend if you can get the tier one to get it. Yeah, uh, but let's just have a look at Cedify now. Now we know that Cedify it's got all sorts of influences around it, bells and whistles. It's a good, it's a very good launch pad, but it's $220 million market cap. Now, I think when you compare the allocations, now what what what's a tier? Not, I know it's not the same with the tiers, Matt, but what's kind of an equivalent you feel to get a tier one or a, a one of the top? Well, tier a, well, a tier one and seed file cost you about $350,000 versus, versus, you know, a little bit over 7000 for... Oxbow. Now, I guess seed I mean, that they, they may well have access as we, you know, get into the bull run um, to, to maybe some slightly sexier projects, but it's a really big difference. And the, the allocations, although the allocations for tier one and Cedar C to five are bigger, they're not that much bigger. They may be double, you know what I mean? So for me, bang for my buck, I definitely think Oxbow operas, you know, sort of represents just incredible value. And look, we've been involved with Oxbow, you know, since the last bull market. I mean, you you were the you were the one that found that for us uh, in the early days. And it really has um, you know given us some incredible returns. Yeah, and you look across it, they've been really active lately. Um, like these are oh, the have they what? Ivan Pay, Exaverse, Patex. Well, Bacana, actually, Max. I think it's going to be a monster. Yeah. Um, you know, there's been all sorts of projects come out here, more than any of the other launch pads that I've seen on here. I, I don't think any other launch pad has had more Almost too many. Like you got to keep cutting out wallets. <laughs> you can never have too many, Max. <laughs> um, there's been loads. They're starting to do more private sales in bigger projects now, which they didn't do before. We know that in the bull run, they'll they'll also focus a lot on some small independent projects that they'll do. But really, like we said, that comparison, the tier one in Cedify is three hundred and fifty or thereabouts, three hundred fifty thousand. Get a tier one Oxbow, it's seven thousand, and mm. the. The differences in the allocation are marginal. And as you say, sure, maybe Cedify are going to get a few better seats at the table for their, you know, with the connections they've got in their projects. But it's not a difference of 220 million to 5. 50 X. <laughs> not a difference of 350,000 to, to 7,000. I mean, look, at the, at, the, at the end of the day, Max, the proof's in the pudding with, with uh, what these launch pads actually pump out. And I've been. I've just been amazed at what Oxbow have done. I mean, here's, here's a little stat for you, Max. Um, since November 24, so that's only five weeks ago, thereabouts, yeah. Oxbow have launched eight projects, Plexus, Padex, Medicard, Fakana, 
Exodus, Event Pay, and Ether Games. There was also Port Three as well, um, which was the only one I didn't go into. I don't think you went into that one either, did you? Port Three. I missed that one. Yeah, um, I mean that's eight projects in five weeks. So these guys are really active, and there's a, I know a lot of people are in other launch pads and that are doing absolutely nothing or, or very little. So what we're seeing here with Oxball is they're just being super, super attentive and they're getting projects out there for their investors and that's what we want. Other thing, that, and we'll see this in a moment with how simple this is, the, the actual functionality, the UX of their website, is it's always so simple to contribute. Remember the last bull and how stressful it was sometimes in other Ugh. launch pads about whether you miss, if it was fastest first, if it, things don't work, when they open the bots, just come and smash these sites when it's allocation <laughs> time, the site goes down. They, hey, look, touch wood, mistakes can always happen, but it has never happened on Oxford. No. These guys always you know, deliver. And if, if something is buggy and someone brings it up, they fix it straight away. Um, they've obviously got, I know they're, they say they're a lean team, but they've, they've got... Um, clearly got some pretty strong experience in uh, development within the team. Was it uh, Ox Ushi, the main developer? I, I get the feeling he knows his way around with the code. Well, I think uh, I think he runs a tech tech team in, in real life, doesn't he? And I think he was a previous, he won hackathons and all sorts of things. I'm just going from memory from the last bull run. But, uh, yeah, I think very, very astute uh, individual. So let's take a look. We'll go and contribute to one now here at... Ether Games, which, by the way, it looks like a pretty good... I think this one, this one could be a banger, um, Max. I mean, I do like the idea of gaming studios. I think this this one's got three games on the trot. Yeah. Uh, I had a look at one the other day, Cards of Eternity. It looks pretty good. So, yeah, um, I think this one will do pretty well. And the good thing is here, what they do is they say, look, you, get, you can see this allocation 700. We're not going to end up getting 700 because I can see that it's oversubscribe is a very popular one this one but that doesn't mean because it's oversubscribed i can't get in i'm still as you'll see going to contribute here and what they'll do is once everyone's contributed they'll just equally refund everyone later which is super simple um yeah we'll, we'll probably get 550 600 or something like yeah. that that's a one. very good that's a great allocation that's so per wallet, to... Max. That's per wallet as well. And that's that's another point I want to make. We've got 700 here. We're going to contribute. I just go in. If it's doing yeah, that's the other point I want to make, Max, is, is you, you know, this is just one wallet you're doing here. I mean, you can have as many wallets as you like that are tier one or tier two or whatever. Um, so, yeah, you can, you can end up getting some massive contributions if you've got lots of wallets. Yeah, it's, we do actually suspect, don't we, that maybe just the uh, – it went up to sort of $1.10, $1.20, and we figure that maybe it's actually cooled off a bit because there's been so many projects and people holding multiple tiers are, need to free up a bit of cash to... Uh, <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> to actually be able to... I mean, eight, eight project launches in five weeks. is, And the, the thing is the quality of those launches, Max. I mean, there's some really good quality projects in, in and amongst that eight. And, yeah, it's, it's really exceeded, I think, most people's expectations. And, I mean, if they... I mean, I'm not saying they're going to keep launching eight every five weeks. We don't know how many how many they're going to do in the future. But, um, you know, I, I think there's a pretty good chance they could probably average one a week for, throughout 2024. And that'd be another 50-odd pre-sales max. I mean, where else are you going to get access to 50 new shiny toys um, for the price of, you know, a little over $7,000 at the moment? Yeah. Um, add to that, there's a bit of staking as well. So you'll see uh, here, just we'll knock off a few other little details here on Oxball, apart from the launches. And by the way, that was just butter once again. Um, Easy. Everything there, that's all done. Now 700s in, crypto badges are in for Ether, Ether Games there. Um, so you can see here to have a look at our, our account, you've got the staking I've, we've earned because we've been in this wallet for a while here yeah, since February this year. Um 619 OXB, which is, you know, it's well, once it gets to five, six dollars, that's going to be pretty handy. Um, so yeah, I mean, ultimately, ultimately, um, you know, at the end of the day, these, you know, when you're staking like this, you're getting reflection rewards, yeah. And I mean, it's just money for nothing. Um, you know, if, if the price of OXB goes to anywhere near where we think it might go, just those rewards alone will probably more than pay for our initial position, yeah, exactly. Um, so you've got that there. And in terms of just the, how the, the tiers work, 
as we got the 10%, your tokens are locked for 30 days once you stake them and you have to stake to be able to get into projects, which is probably going to mean that if, if there is a situation where people get very enthusiastic for a project, the price of this can go up very, very quickly um, with those tokens staked because the supply is actually, I think they've worked out when the price was $1.10, you know, there's, there's only spots for 30 to 40 more tier ones. Yeah. If you look across the board, Max, at some of the more popular launch pads, a lot of them have still got a hell of a lot of token inflation to come. That is one thing you do not need to worry about uh, when it comes to Oxball because most of the tokens or two-thirds of them or thereabouts are already out in the wild. And the, and the dev has basically said we're not planning on unlocking some of the, the, the treasury tokens anytime soon. So Yeah. It's, yeah. It's I mean, it, w it would not take a lot to push this back up to, you know, its previous um, bull market all-time high, which I think was a bit over $6, wasn't it, Max? Yeah. Six fifty something like that. Uh, but I, I think a big, see, th th there wasn't the same staking mechanism as well last time around. And the fact that so much of the supply is locked up because people need to stake them to qualify for the IDOs, to participate in those, I, th I think, gee whiz, Max, this could, go, this could go a lot higher than I think a lot of people think. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, 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 it's very hard to sort of make a prediction, but I think $10 would be absolute low side for me, but it could go 20 30 bucks. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Well, that would be nice. It really wouldn't, Max, because there's just not the supply and most people have stayed. You know what I mean? It's, it's just it's, when, the, when the fever, the, fo the real FOMO comes in, when retail's here and they have, everyone's just trying to crush into all these new token launches, it's there's just not going to be the supply. <laughs> I mean, it will move quite rapidly. I feel, and we actually, unfortunately, didn't do this because it wasn't a strategy we had at the time in this wallet. But it is very much worth, as we've said in other launchpad videos, getting extra um, because, like I said, because you stake for thirty days. But if you buy ten thousand instead of eight thousand tokens, then at least you've got two thousand that you can leave liquid. And should the price go to ten or fifteen dollars, you can cover your position. Yeah, but I mean, look. To be honest, Max, that the price of Oxball could go to fifty cents tomorrow. Go, could go to a dollar fifty tomorrow. I'm not selling because I want access to those shiny new toys. I want access to these new projects. And from what we've already seen over the last five weeks with Oxball, they're launching some bangers. And uh, you know, they've, I don't want to say too much out of school, but um, you know, some of the stuff being talked in a in a tier one. Telegram, there's a lot of really exciting projects that are that are likely to be coming up as well. So, you know, it all sort of bodes well for a great start for 2024. The most active launch pad that, yeah, certainly I'm involved in. We love bangers. Uh, we, love we, bangers. we definitely love bangers. And look, we, you mentioned earlier about, you know, if possible people being able to afford to get into the tier one. There's another real great benefit of being in the tier one, and that's you do have access to the tier one telegram group, which I think is just a, you know, one of my favorite telegram groups because it's such a collaborative environment. You've got Oxushi, who's the team leader. He is in there absolutely every day. I've not seen another Launchpad project where investors have access to the team leader like that. Um, and as I said, it's a very, you know, sort of collaborative environment. People are throwing up ideas, you know, talking about potential new listings. It's a really good space to be in. There's some really smart people in there. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of my – when I wake up in the morning and I check my Telegram, it's, it's the first group I go to. Yeah, no, it's a great project. It's a fun video to do this one because, uh, you know, we really do think that this – is one that you can recommend. And, and the other option, if you're struggling to afford, maybe maybe you're doing crypto on your own and it's not so easy. You know, I know when we were sort of starting out in this, it's very nice to kind of go in with someone else. Um, if you can set up a wallet, you know, and it can halve the cost for you, it means you still get the access. That's another option. If you've got a buddy who does crypto and you both maybe don't want to spend eight eight ground US individually, you can you can uh, have one of you administer it and, and go halves. Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea at all, Max. I mean, I think it's going to be a going to be a beauty, Max. And it's look, I think its lows were about twenty five, thirty cents. Okay, it's up at eighty nine cents, but I think uh, that's that's nowhere near uh, as high as this thing's going. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Okay, well, uh, until next time, that's another video. More gravy there from the uh, the crypto back. <laughs> sub up and a like, and uh, yeah, if you, let us know um, if you know about Oxball and if you like this project. Until next time, it's goodbye. Cheers, Maxi.
Boom, sir. Coming live from the crypto world. Bringing you all that you need. Let's go. This is the YouTube crypto show with two guys who are kind of in the know. Crypto badges are here, so you're in the clear. No worry or fear. Yeah, we're helping you steer. Shouts to the team. We can't forget Max Power and Bazi Dips. Don't get wrecked. A pump would be nice, but remember, there's no financial advice. Crypto badges.